good morning children uh, so uh, successfully we completed our exam is it test one i hope all of you done it well see uh, now we are going to take uh, under our second chapter in biology that means the sixth chapter it is about tissues do you know what is tissues i think you know what tissue when you are going to what hot air to have food that is they will give tissue paper is it huh so uh, this is not, this is not that tissue it is another different type tissue i think you have learned last class about cells and cell to tissues all those things today we are going to just learn little more about the tissue so first of all say what is a cell just the previous chapter we have studied what is a cell cell is a fundamental unit of an organism is it so see a cell is having what a nucleus in the middle and nucleus is controlling everything and we have learned so many other things other cell organelles doing its own some function is it like our body some are doing that uh, what is that very uh, respiratory function and some are doing the digestive function and some are doing the cleaning work is it so for doing all the work a cell also having so many what cell organelles okay so we we know such a cell what is that cell amoeba see amoeba is the best example because in amoeba all the work is done by different organelles is it and it is only single cell we can call amoeba as a unicellular organism because it lives in this that single cell only there is no more cell only single cell and that cell only doing all the work okay so let us see our body our body is made up of single cell no millions of cells is it there is that millions of cells are in our body and the one cell is not doing a particular function all the cells are combined to do a function because our body is so big so it has a lot of work to do so a single cell can can't do all this work so in higher level organization in higher high organ organ cell this cell level is what it is organ system organ systems are there we will just discuss about that the first one is what single cell so if there is any so many cells are combined to form one tissue so a tissue is nothing but a sheet of cells or combined form of cells we can call it what a tissue okay and when the so many tissues are combined to form what our organs different organs are in our body stomach kidney and what that um, heart so there are lot of organs in our hands lungs lungs eyes these all are what organs so these all organs are made up of what tissue but not a single type of tissue just see our for example our eyes so our eyes there are so many tissues for contracting and for relaxation there should be what muscle cells muscle cells are needed for that purpose and whatever we are seeing that should be taken to our brain who is doing that function nerve cells is it so there are lot of cells are combined to form one organ so like that organ systems are there and so many organs are combined to form different organ system a lot of organs combined to do a particular function we can call as what organ system there are lot of organ system like excretory organ whatever that extra whatever the waste should be removed from our body who is doing that work kidney so the kidney and associated organs together form one excretory system and next is digestive system who is doing the digestion mainly stomach and the stomach and related to all other organs combined to form we can call one a digestive system then circulatory system who is circulating everything what the whatever the waste you want to be reached from the from all the cells to our to the kidney and whatever the whatever we are having food the nutrients should be reached to each cell all this transporting is done by who blood so blood is doing main function in the circulatory system and who is pumping the blood heart so heart is the main organ of the circulatory system heart and the associated other organs together we can call 
one example is called amoeba so in amoeba what develop organization is there cellular network or cell only doing all the function next you see one example is hydra you know what is hydra how will be hydra hydra will be uh, like uh, like pipe and wall you see the hydra so hydra is you have seen like this and there will be tentacles
the plants can't do locomotion plants can do only move from its own place that's all that's why we can say the plants are also living things okay if you go and sing nice song near a plant the plant will be so happy or if you are going and always plucking the flowers and and taking the leaves and all the plant will not grow well it will kick at irritator on you and it will not grow very well, very well okay but if you go to love the plants the plants also like you very much and it will give you nice flowers okay so plants also have feelings so they are also what living things so the reason for it locomotion and the movement and it's so to do the locomotion the animals need more what energy so animals need more energy than plants plants don't need that much energy that's why what they do whatever they are getting food they will keep in the fridge is it they are keeping the food aside for to who and it is helping others the plants are giving to us the food is it so they they don't need that much food they are making a lot of food and using a bit and the rest of the food is giving to others is it so the plants are doing a very good job for us so the difference now we are explain the difference so first one is what animals no need of much support because it can move anywhere it want to be they 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 are they can do locomotion and they can do different activities so they want they no need much support they can do anything but the plants are staying in this in a particular place it need support so it will have a lot of supporting tissue and second reason is animals can do locomotion but plants they are stationary they can't move from place to place can't move place to place and next one is the growth tip have you observed see and the animals uh, in any one part is growing more our in case when you are very small you will have a shape is it when even you become big you will have the same shape this thing shape is changing one hand is growing more than the other hand or one leg or one leg is growing more than another leg no all the place the growth is same same in all the places the growth will be the same and after reaching a particular height or particular age the growth will be stop all the cells are the same the heart heart muscle or heart cell or the kidney cell they only will grow no it is not possible only one organ in your body has the regeneration capacity what is that organ do you know all our cells now after a particular time it will stop if you just cut the finger any new finger come out no the cut finger is it's gone you want to use a new finger but one organ in your body if you cut a small part another part will grow which organ do you know that is liver okay so the liver in your body if you cut a small part is damaged or it is removed the same place is the it will grow okay so it is called a regeneration capacity that is shown only for the our liver no but in, in the case of lizards and all the tail the tail is got cut new tail will come out okay so some animals are having the regeneration capacity but in the case of plants it is more you just go and cut any part of branch from that what will happen you just see if it is a plant if it is a plant if you just cut this part of the plant it will come out like this or it will come from the side from where it will come straight or from side the new branches you just observe okay and it will come from the side anyway the new part will come but it will be maybe from sides okay and not from the where it's cut maybe the growth will stop there and from the sides the new branches will come so whatever may be the plants are cast the growth is not stop it is continuously it will be grow the plants will grow continuously but the animals growth is limited animals growth is limited but plants growth is unlimited it can grow how much it want it can grow and that uh, the reason is that all the animals are having a particular type of cell called the meristematic cell or meristematic tissue what is that meristematic tissue say meristematic tissue so meristematic tissues only what help the plants to grow more and more and these meristematic tissues are present especially the tips at the tip at the tip 
of the root or at the tip of the shoot always there will be one meristematic tissue so it will grow very fast if there is more meristematic tissue suppose if you cut the tip it will stop the growth but there will be some meristematic tissue will develop inside and from there the root branches will come so the growth of the plants are mainly because of what tissue meristematic tissue so next class we are going to discuss more details about about meristematic tissue and for that there is one small experiment in the textbook it is given you have to take two beakers and in the two beakers you keep the onion if you keep the onion after three to three four days you can see the roots they start to grow the roots will start to grow okay and the one experiment is shown in the textbook read the experiment if you do it do it next class it will be easy you can understand very fastly i i too i am also going to do that experiment today and next class i will show you the roots of the onion how how many uh, how much long it has grown and after that you have to cut the roots also and after cutting what happens to that roots okay so that experiment you can do then it will be easy to understand so next class is about meristematic cells today's class we learn what parent tissue or organ or the system level and difference between animal cell and plant cell and cellular level of some organisms and tissue levels of organisms that's all so do the worksheet and there is a oral test is there you have to call me to get marks okay so learn well and then call me you will get the mark okay thank you